Hey guys, how's it going? You know, it goes without saying that the pace at which we are buying new smartphones has increased exponentially. But even for new users, one of the biggest problems that everyone faces is how do you transfer all of your data from your old phone to your new phone? I mean, everyone has that question and a lot of you guys have been commenting this in our comment section. Well, that's what this video is all about. This is one from Guiding Tech and today I'll show you a couple of different apps and different ways in which you can easily backup and restore your phone uh, and the data obviously along with it to just make sure that your new phone feels just like home. Let's get started. Also, guys, this video has been sponsored by iSkysoft's Toolbox Doctor Phone for WhatsApp. Now, there are multiple apps out there that you can use to easily take a backup of your phone's data, including your chat apps. But these apps only back up the application file, while Doctor Phone's solution will also transfer all of your chats. This is for all chat apps like WhatsApp, Viber, Line, Kick, and more. Further, this also helps if you want to take a local backup instead of like using Google Drive or iCloud. And if that's not all, you can use it for transferring your WhatsApp chats between iOS and Android devices, vice versa, super easily. And to do that, just launch the Doctor Phone software and select the Restore Social app and then go to the WhatsApp tab. Here, select WhatsApp messages and connect your old device. Just click on backup and the rest of the process is all automatic. Now select transfer WhatsApp messages and connect the new device. Just click on transfer once again and that's it. All your chats will be easily transferred to the new device and will feel just like home. The software is available for both Mac OS and Windows PCs. You can read more about it along with an entire list of amazing features that the software offers from the link in the description box below. Okay, so kicking things off, we have the simplest option out there, which is to use Google's own backup solution. See, Google, with the help of Google Drive and Google Photos, easily allows you to backup all of your phone data, photos, videos, even multimedia messages, and all of your configuration files, you know, for your settings and everything. All of that easily is backed up onto the cloud. This is by far the most simplest method to use because obviously you will be logged into your Google account and this obviously just periodically backs up all of your data onto the cloud. So unlike using any different app to transfer data and having the fear of having that data corrupted, your data is always securely saved on Google's servers and because it's on cloud, you can access it from anywhere. In fact, personally, I also have the Google One membership, which is a very cost effective way to increase your storage capacity. So if you're someone who uses a phone like, you know, 128 GB or 256 GB of storage and you actually have all of that data, using Google One can actually help you store all of that data onto the cloud and then help you in restoring that data as well. Now that's where the downside is because when it comes to restoring and even just uploading the data, you obviously need a good internet plan because all of this, because it's uploaded onto the cloud, you will require a lot of good internet speed with a lot of bandwidth. So like in my case, my usual data gets up to be around 30, 40 GBs. And while I have a one GBPS connection at home, I don't have a problem with that. But of you guys who just rely on mobile data and have like maybe 10 Mbps or 25 Mbps of speed at of Wi-Fi at home, this might not be the most ideal solution. So yeah, and unless you have a great connection, maybe you can look at the other options that I'm about to list out in this video. Okay, now one of the best apps that I used for backing up and restoring data is from Mobile Idea and it's called Super Backup and Restore. It offers a simple to use interface that lets you easily backup all your applications, SMS, contacts, call logs, and calendars. The data is backed up to a single folder that you can shift to your new phone. Once you've done that, simply tapping on restore will restore all of your data just like that. The app also comes with an option to schedule backups and upload them to cloud storage, which is another plus. Next up, we have backup and restore, which comes from the house of Trustlook, which works on kind of the same principle, but with a premium focus on apps and is also quite snappy. Like I said, the app focuses primarily on backing up all of your apps and it does so quite effortlessly. You can do a batch, backup, restore, transfer, and share all of your apps and data, all by building a private Wi-Fi hotspot, thus eliminating the need of another app for transferring data from one phone to another. 
Now, one of the more modern solutions to come to the scene is Swift Backup and Restore, which is easily one of my most favorite and highly recommended apps out there. The interface is so good and the app, well, it's way too powerful. In the basic mode, you can use the app to backup all your apps, SMS, call logs, and even your applied wallpapers. You can easily upload it to the cloud servers of your choice, such as Google Drive, Dropbox, own cloud, and much more. However, if your device is rooted, you can even restore app data, special app permissions, and all your Wi-Fi configurations as well. And that's not all. If you're a premium user, you can easily do a batch backup and even schedule them. Also, it's one of the rare apps out there that officially has support for Android 11, which is a big plus. Lastly, this list would not be complete without taking the name of Titanium Backup. There have been so many apps that have tried to enter the scene and a lot of them have been good, but none of them have been as good and as powerful as Titanium Backup. I know the dated interface might put off some users, but this app is way too powerful. Not only can you use Titanium Backup to backup your apps with the app data, you can perform multiple actions as well. You can unlink the app from the Play Store so that it won't receive updates if you want to. You can easily convert system apps to user apps or vice versa. You get app freezer, multiple user app data and much, much more. The app is paid and requires root access, but it's well, well worth the price for sure. And that is something I can easily guarantee you. Okay, so before wrapping things up, there is another point that I would like to make. In the current scenario, every smartphone manufacturer knows that switching to a new phone can be quite hectic of a task for new users, which is why they're also bundling their own OEM apps that allow for an easy transfer from old phone to a new phone. You know, apps like Samsung Smart Switch, OnePlus Switch, Oppo's Clone Phone, and basically every other brand out there has an app like this, which you can just easily use to clone all of your data from your old phone to your new phone. Now, obviously the new phone will have this thing pre-installed, but you will still have to install the same app on your old device. And I'll leave a link down to all of the apps and their respective links. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.